participation. MMI is a medical organization dedicated to promoting health and prevention of disease by educating health professionals through science-based education, workshops, online courses, hands-on application, and live demos. Metabolic Medical Institute will revolutionize and redefine health education starting 2015, our first of its kind symposium on January 29th through the 31st, Metabolic Medicine Interrelationships, the Revolutionary and New Medicine of the Future. This symposium will review the common metabolic medicine interconnections related to the genesis or why of diseases, all of the various processes that determine the progression to diseases and aging will be reviewed. The specific roles of inflammation, oxidative stress, and in immune dysfunction will be discussed in detail. The common physiological relationships between cardiovascular disease, renal disease, neurological disease, gastrointestinal disease, immune disease, toxicology, detoxification, and other diseases will be reviewed in a manner that will allow the the clinician to connect common underlying mechanisms in order to provide cohesive diagnostic prevention therapeutic interventions using integrative approaches that are scientifically valid. The webinar presentation we're hosting today is designed to give you a preview of this event in January. We hope you will join us at, in Boca Raton. If there are any questions during this presentation, please submit them via the chat option on your screen. They will be read at the end of the webinar for Dr. Houston to answer. We have a very large audience today. If we cannot address your question, please let us know and we will answer it by email. Presenting the webinar today is Dr. Mark Houston, MMI faculty for the Fellowship in Metabolic, Nutritional, Functional, and Integrative Medicine. Dr. Mark Houston is Associate Clinical Professor of Medicine at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine, Director of the Hypertension Institute and Vascular Biology and Medical Director of the Division of Human Nutrition at St. Thomas Hospital and the Health Science in Nashville, Tennessee. Dr. Houston was selected as one of the top physicians in hypertension in the U.S. in 2008 through 2014 by the Consumer Research Council and by the U.S. today as one of the most influential doctors in the U.S. in both hypertension and hyperlipidemia hyper twice in 2009 and 2010. He was selected as the Patient's Choice Award in 2010 and 2012 by Consumer Reports USA. He is triple boarded certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine, the American Society of Hypertension, and the American Board of Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine, he holds two Master's of Science degrees in Human Nutrition and another metabolic, Metabolic and Nutritional Medicine. Dr. Houston has presented over 10,000 lectures nationally and internationally and published over 250 medical articles, scientific abstracts, and peer-reviewed medical journals, books, and book chapters. His books include Handbook of, of Anti-Hypertensive Therapy, Vascular Biology for the Clinician, what your doctor may not tell you about hypertension, and what your doctor may not tell you about heart disease. Dr. Houston, thank you so much, and we're ready for your webinar. Thank you so much for, uh, for having me today. I want to welcome uh, all of you to uh, this very important webinar uh, with a concept in medicine that I think will revolutionize the way you approach and treat your patients. One of the things that I have heard over the past 10 years as I've lectured from all of you is that you need to have a cohesive approach to manage patients where you learn the didactic parts of the presentations, but you learn how to apply that information in a practical situation in your offices. And I think that a lot of the symposiums in the past have not allowed us to really effectively teach how to take that information and use it in a practical way in your office. So for the first time, we have designed a really incredible program with fantastic speakers and topics that really get to the metabolic uh, medicine in relationships in a holistic approach, which is based on personalized medicine and biosystems, physiology. <clears throat> the idea is to have 
sessions in the morning where each faculty member will discuss at great length their specific specialty. And then in the afternoon, we break out into simultaneously workshops with case presentations with each faculty member uh, to discuss uh, case presentations and have audience faculty interaction. The beauty of the way we've designed this is you do not have to pick a particular uh, workshop and miss them in the afternoon because everyone will have access to every faculty member and every workshop in a rotating fashion. So for the first time uh, in January in Boca Raton, uh, we're going to institute this new teaching program where you'll have the ability to not only learn the information but start to apply it clinically that afternoon after hearing the presentations with direct interactions in small groups with the faculty members. We'll be covering cardiovascular disease, gastrointestinal disease, uh, GI disease with uh, emphasis on immunology, neurology, toxicology, immune relationships to, uh, to cancer. I think you'll find that this approach will be very different, very new, but also revolutionary, and allow you to go home after the symposium and start to practice the kind of medicine that you should be practicing and become a more effective teacher, a uh, more effective clinician, and thus a more effective healer. So I would, I'd like to just give you a very brief overview <clears throat> of what we're going to do, uh, the philosophy of why we're doing it, and hopefully uh, entice you to call and, and set up a reservation to come and uh, hear some incredible speakers and learn this new medicine. Uh, it'll be in Boca Raton uh, in January 29th through 31st. So the idea in metabolic medicine is there really are no diseases. Uh, we have in the past defined everything based on ICD-9 and ICD codes because that's the way we learned it in medical school. And all of our ability to think, uh, to treat, uh, diagnose, and, and to bill are based on a disease concept. What we're trying to bring to your attention now is that the disease model is really an old model and needs to be thought of as a process. And all the processes by which we go to these previously defined diseases are really very similar. And those processes, if you learn them, cross-react into other disciplines. So that if you learn cardiovascular medicine, for example, you will then understand the basics of neurology, uh, the basics of gastroenterology and immunology. And sort of thinking upside down, going backwards from these processes back to the genesis of the disease, that is, why does this person sitting before me in my office have a specific set of problems that I can identify uh, not as a disease so much, but as a process that I can go back and find out how it got started and try to eliminate the initial problem, which in turn allows you to eliminate all the downstream mediators and consequences of that. A clear example for, would be if, if a patient has magnesium deficiency. There are over 400 chemical reactions in the body related to magnesium. Yet if you went to a traditional physician and you said to them, you know, I have brain fog, poor memory, palpitations of the heart, and irritable bowel syndrome, you would get maybe three different uh, diagnoses, different disease, and probably three or four different treatments. Whereas if you thought in a metabolic way, you would identify the magnesium deficiency, correct it, and then all of those, quote, diseases would go away. And the idea is one common process can have multiple downstream effects that's easier to fix, more efficient, less expensive, and has fewer adverse effects. So the, the new concept is to have a prevention and treatment, treatment strategy that really gets away from this disease model 
and more into a process model. And virtually every disease that we treat or every uh, thing we call a disease is based on three processes. <clears throat> There's a, a lot of different insults to the cell. Uh, you know, the blood vessel, uh, the gastrointestinal tract, the, the brain. It, it doesn't matter which organ we're talking about. The finite responses are the same. So the idea of finite response theory to injury with infinite insults causing three things, which is inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction and imbalance. So we're going to teach you how to not only understand those three finite responses, but also determine what biomarkers in the blood or in the urine are using non-invasive testing that you can use to determine that a patient has one or more of these three finite responses. And then think backwards, upside down, so to speak, why does this patient have one of the finite responses? Is it related to heavy metal intoxication? Is it related to a micronutrient deficiency? Is it related to some other um, cardiovascular, other gastrointestinal or neurological insult that is damaging that specific organ, but has ramifications and also interrelations with other, every other organ system in the body? And the beauty of understanding this type of approach is once you define the finite response, say it's inflammation, and you get rid of the cause of the inflammation, you will simultaneously interrelate and cure with your treatment different organs. An example here, if you have brain inflammation, you may have gastrointestinal inflammation, and you may have cardiovascular inflammation, all related to the same initial event. So by defining the inflammation, removing the event, and then treating with a common nutrient like curcumin, which is a phenomenal anti-inflammatory, you may end up treating the neurological complications, the GI complications, and the cardiovascular complications. So if we look at our new mechanism, our new model, we have the infinite insults. And these feed into the oxidative stress with radical oxygen species, radical nitrogen species, causes inflammation and immune dysfunction. And once these are set off, there's a bidirectional feedback, which causes more damage to the cell and also to the organ. So learning how to define the three finite responses, how to treat them, and how to remove the offending agents, the infinite insults, is really the new model. That's the revolutionary approach that we're trying to teach um, at our symposium with MMI in January. And I've tried to sum this up in this last slide. And this is the basic physiology and, phys and, and philosophy of metabolic medicine. Um, the infinite number of internal and external insults produce damage to all the cells. Now initially, that response is an acute defensive response to protect the cell from damage and try to contain the insult. And that's very appropriate and is correct. However, if that insult continues <clears throat> and the cell or the organ becomes damaged as sort of an innocent bystander, then the process is going to cause more and more damage to the cells and lead to what we consider you know, patterns of response, uh, which we later call a disease in that particular organ. But in essence, all these diseases, cardiovascular, neurological, GI, immunology, cancer, toxicology, they're really all similar processes. And they all have the same basic finite responses, which are inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction. So I would really encourage all of you to consider coming to the Medical Metabolic Institute in January. 
uh, 29th through 31st in Boca Raton. Uh, I'll be speaking uh, along with some other um, excellent speakers. Um, Dr. Catherine Wilner will be doing uh, neurology. Uh, Dr. Deanna Minnick will be talking about toxins and detoxification. And Dr. Alexo Fasano will be discussing the gastrointestinal tract and immunology. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Lindsay, and we can take questions if we need to. Great. Thank you, Dr. Houston. I do have uh, just a couple of questions that we will address. Um, the first one is, Dr. Houston, I've attended many symposium and educational weekends. Why is this symposium different from those in the past? The major difference is that we are going to combine didactics with intense case presentations and application of clinical medicine, uh, which basically means that uh, in the morning uh, you'll have two or three speakers that will uh, present detailed scientific information on a specific topic. Uh, and then in the afternoon, when you go into the case presentation workshops, you'll have the ability to discuss difficult case presentations that you would see in your clinical practice uh, with that particular faculty member, and then rotate into other um, clinical workshops during the same afternoon based on what you heard that morning. This is different from most other programs where you sit in a classroom all day and you just have sort of a one-way didactic from the speaker to the audience with, with not much interaction and really not much chance to apply what you've learned in a practical way to a case management for a patient. And this, this organization of this symposium is different, and I think that's what you'll find to be uh, very important in your education compared to what you've done in the past. Great. Thank you so much. Um, we have Dr. Houston. I am a family practice physician. I need to offer new services to my patients. Will this symposium give me the tools and confidence to introduce this new approach? Absolutely. Um, we'll be discussing, um, you know, prevention, uh, diagnostic testing, both, you know, blood, urine, non-invasive testing, all the tools that you need to uh, diagnose and treat your patients. We'll cover integrative approaches with nutrition, uh, nutritional supplements, lifestyle modifications, uh, and integrate all that with, uh, with drugs as necessary so that your patients will get the benefit of uh, a very wise treatment program from someone who is teaching and practicing medicine in a very different way. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Houston. Um, MMI would like to thank everyone for their time, especially Dr. Houston. For all the participants, we would like to present you with a very special offer of a $500 discount off of your registration for the BOCA Symposium, revitalize your practice in 2015, and also earn your CMEs. This offer is only available for the next 24 hours. When you call, please mention that you were a participant on this webinar for your special price. We hope you have enjoyed this webinar. If you have any questions about the program or to register for the Interrelationship Symposium, please call me directly at 561-777-6807. You can also email me at lindsay at tarsismedicalgroup.com. We look forward to another fantastic year in education. Thank you so much, Dr. Houston. My pleasure. Thank you, Lindsay.